Hey, my name is Alpha. I'm an engineering student at the University of Maryland. Um, and I got sent home for coronavirus, so I've been bored a lot recently. So, you know, I have engineering projects I have to work on, and I have a camera, and I want to make videos. This is actually a project for my class that I have to do, so this isn't necessarily because I was bored. But I decided to kind of go a little bit deeper than what we were really supposed to do for the project, just because... You know, I was feeling a little bit creative and I got an idea. So, um, yeah, let's check it out. All right, so this is it. Uh, this is the box. <laughs> and then, um, so it like is going to open Look up. Yeah, on command, boy. Uh, but yeah, and then it goes down. And then that's a little like arm thing I created and connected to it. And what I want to do next is then find a way to connect the ultrasonic sensor so as you get close to it you know like i already explained like it goes open and then like it closes once you get a certain distance away from it so this is what i have so far and i'm gonna finish it tomorrow morning uh yeah i guess you'll see it then all right so i'm actually shooting this a couple months later because i just was too busy to finish making the video at the time uh, but yeah, the project that I was working on was using a sensor to control an actuator. Uh, if you didn't know, an actuator is any sort of mechanical device usually that is controlled by a sensor. So what happens is the sensor actually inputs information to the mechanical device and then the device is then controlled by whatever conditions the sensor is supposed to measure. So for this one, what I did is I used an ultrasonic sensor, which puts out sound waves and then reflects them back to measure the distance of how far the object in front of the sensor is away from the object. And the actuator I used was a servo motor. I used Arduino to do it. Um, and it was pretty simple to code. It wasn't anything that complicated. And the wiring is pretty simple too. There's a lot of instructions online. If you guys want to try something like this or any sort of Arduino project, there's a whole bunch of resources online. It's really powerful for getting, for like creating functions that, uh, excuse me. All right, so this is the box. This is our ultrasonic sensor. This is a servo motor. And the way it works is that when you get a certain distance away from the sensor, it's just going to op it's going to like prop open this box using this little arm that I created out of like like wooden skewers. And then to add to it, I was I got an idea from Pulp Fiction. And you know like how when he opens up the box he goes like ha Yeah. So <laughs> what happens is, is that when the box is then propped open, this m aluminum foil surface actually connects to this aluminum foil tip of the arm. And like, you know, there's wiring all over there to get like the battery and the light attached to it. And it actually turns on this light so that the light is only on when the box is like propped open and this is touching this. So the camera died, so I'm just gonna continue from where I left off. But yeah, so the circuit is actually only completed once the box opens up and then the tip of the arm touches the tip of the box and then it turns on this light uh and yeah it's kind of crazy right it's not that crazy it's, it's not that difficult to do i worked hard on it but you know it's, it's pretty simple to figure out if you try um but yeah arduino is actually really powerful and it's really useful if you want to like do different types of projects and I encourage you guys to do whatever you think is interesting with Arduino. It's really easy to use. It's for beginners. I'm a beginner. You know, I didn't really, I wasn't really able to do stuff like this before because I didn't have the knowledge. But what I realized is that you can just literally go online and everything is right there. But it's pretty cool. All right. So, look, when I put my hand in front, uh, and then it like lights up, uh but like it kind of like i don't know the sense the sensor is like really like sensitive to motion but i mean it kind of it pretty much works i'll say uh not bad for a weekend project all right so i'm recording this because this part has a song that's definitely going to get the video taken down 
Um, but yeah, this is just a better video of the thing working, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, that's the whole video. It was a pretty cool experience. I enjoyed making this thing a lot. Um, but yeah, I have more projects coming up. I actually already started one, and I've already started filming for it, so I'm gonna upload that whenever I'm done with it. I'm gonna be doing more stuff throughout the summer. I'm gonna be, you know, renovating around my house, building other cool projects doing coding all types of stuff so if you want to see more of that i guess subscribe like the video yeah and that's it